solar system evolved. All planets should spin in the same direction. But Pluto and Venus rotate backwards, while Uranus is tipped on its side and rotates like a wheel. Again, any basic astronomy course will tell you why. Pluto technically isn't even a planet. It's a Kuiper Belt object and formed along with them. Uranus and Venus, like all planets, both collided with a lot of the flying debris that cluttered up the early solar system. In fact, Earth's 24-hour rotation, as well as its moon, were both formed when the large Mars-sized object collided with the very early Earth, back when the planet was still molten. And notice that although Venus spins the opposite way, it spins very slowly the opposite way. It actually circles the Sun in less time than it spins on its axis. The day on Venus is actually longer than a year. This effect accounts for all of the radically different rotational periods of the planet. Oh, and by the way, none of this has anything to do with the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang was long over. Almost 10 billion years had passed before the solar system formed. They're confusing the Big Bang, which is the creation of the universe, with the formation of the solar system. And this is something that we actually try to teach uh, elementary school students. It's actually a, a national standard. And so, uh, the, you know, the universe and the solar system are two different things, and, and what the difference is between that and the galaxy. So there's your level of research that's done by the creationists. As we try to build a mathematical model that reflects what we know, we quickly discover there are thousands of parameters and ratios that if you adjust, then even a little bit, life is impossible. But there was, there was an argument that I had a hard time with, and it's called fine-tuning. It does seem like the universe has been fine-tuned to create life on Earth. To, for us to be here, we need stars. We need the sun. The sun has to form the Earth. The Earth has to have the kind of atmosphere it has for us to be here the way it is today. And when you look at the, the basic principles of the universe that allow these things to happen, it really seems that you have to fine-tune a lot of things to get the universe to be the way it is. This is called the anthropic coincidence. A man named Vic Stanger looked at 100 different universes. He created 100 different universes in the computer with different ratios of these forces and found that, in fact, not only could stars form, but they could live for billions of years. And they say that if you change these forces a little bit, stars wouldn't last long enough, and so you wouldn't be able to, to create life. In fact, that's not true. You can fiddle with these forces quite a bit and you can still get life to form. And so to actually say that these forces have to be in such balance for us to be here isn't true. Man, I knew I should have gotten one of those BOG 5000s. These cheaper models just can't take. Oh, yes, well, um, the video goes on and on and on and on with one bogus claim after another. We've debunked the best of them. Yes, that's right, the best. All of the rest of their claims are even more lame than these. It is Bible-believing creationists who gave us science as we know it today. What's wrong with the... What's it, it's never done that before. Ah! Why do I do this? Why do I fight creationists? And I thought, you know why? Because their God is too small. 6,000 years? Are you kidding me? So the creationists have come to me and they say, you just don't appreciate the glory of God. And I say, what you don't know is that the universe is bigger, it's cooler, it's more interesting, it's more beautiful, it's more profound, it's more awesome, and it's more worthy of study. And yes, it is older than anything that you guys have been willing to accept. Right on, Phil. But since this is about evolution, why don't we let Darwin have the last word? It is interesting to contemplate a tangled bank clothed with many plants of many kinds, with birds singing on the bushes, with various insects flitting about, and with worms crawling through the damp earth, and to reflect that these elaborately constructed forms, so different from each other and dependent on each other in so complex a manner, have all been produced by laws acting around us. There is grandeur in this view of life, with its several powers, having been originally breathed by the Creator into a few forms or into one, and that, whilst this planet has gone circling on according to the fixed law of gravity, from so simple a beginning, endless forms, most beautiful and most wonderful, have been and are being evolved.